Facebook, YouTube, the day of Satel, the Archangel of God, is our prayer. No, not Thor, he's a false god. Quit acknowledging false gods on God's days. All right, topic of the message. Um, oh, today is Joseph's birthday. Did a video of that yesterday. But check this revelation that God has given to me. Oh, it's just so powerful. Revelation concerning God's pattern of Joseph, pretty much. It's called the reality of the difficult seven. The reality of the difficult seven. I hope I can make this message, uh, or the Holy Spirit can hope you make this message seem clear to you. That that God, in order for Christians are supposed to go through trials and tribulations to get the difficult seven. You know what I'm saying? But here we go. All right, going back to uh, Jacob. Jacob uh, saw, of course, uh, saw this woman named Rachel. And Rachel, uh, he, he fell in love with Rachel. And Rachel, um, uh, but he had to go to work, as the scripture said. So he has to work for seven day years to get Rachel. That's what Laban you know, said, you got to work for seven years. So he worked at seven years. So all of a sudden, seven years up, and Laban, you know, kind of tricked him or something like that. But the thing is, in the law that, you know, is uh, you have to uh, be with the firstborn. I mean, the, the, he, that Laban had to give up his firstborn. And his firstborn was Leah. And Leah was the firstborn. And uh, uh, Laban gave Leah to uh, Jacob, and Jacob's like, "Wait a minute, I did this for Rachel." And but the law says you have to, you know, he has to give Laban has to give his firstborn. And watch this now; he has to work another seven years to get Rachel. So Jacob works this another seven years. Now watch this; he worked. For that seven years and got Leah. Now, you know, the, the difficulty was right there. But now, I mean, that's what, you know, he worked seven years. But now you got to work another seven years. See, seven, a difficult equals seven right there. Okay, follow my pattern. All right, so he works this seven years to get Rachel. He finally get Rachel. Now, Rachel has a difficult time producing a child it took her seven years to produce this child called Joseph you know what I'm saying all the other wives were having kids and stuff like that but I mean you know the wife had the kids but it took a difficult time for Rachel to uh, have her child you know what I'm saying and she died I think I believe in childbirth I might be wrong, I might be right, but she will die. And now, and, 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 and now Joseph is here. And now Joseph was, of course, you know about him. He, he had a dream that 12 stars bowed down before him and stuff like that. And he had a difficult time. Now, notice that difficult pattern. He has a difficult time, you know, with his brothers. And, and Jacob, you know, favored Joseph. And and, and and the brothers were jealous of how uh, Jacob, the father Jacob, uh, aka Israel, um, favored Joseph and made him a coat of many colors. And you know, ooh, I can't talk about that. But we're gonna uh, get to the message. But so all of a sudden, you know, the brothers, you know, come together and they wanted to uh, get rid of Joseph. And get rid of Joseph. They wanted to throw him in the pit, as you know that. And uh, but Judah, you know, said, you know, let's not throw him in the pit. Let's sell him from slavery. More likely, Judah, you know, what I'm saying that means praise the Lord. That praise lifted uh, Joseph out of the pit. You know, what I'm saying okay, but praise will deliver you from out of the pit. But anyway, so Joseph gets sold into slavery. Sent to Egypt, he's working for Potiphar, and Joseph becomes a servant working for Potiphar. All of a sudden, Potiphar's wife, 
you know what I'm saying, hits on Joseph. Joseph did not reject Potiphar's wife, but he grabbed and ripped his clothing. But Potiphar's wife went to Potiphar with his clothing and said that he tried to rape him. And through, now you have thrown this child that was birthed out of seven years of difficulty. It was difficulty for Rachel. See, watch this difficult pattern. Ra uh, Jacob uh, worked another seven years for, uh, to get Rachel. Uh, Rachel was barren for seven years and, and, and finally produced Joseph. I mean, Joseph. See, this Joseph was birthed out of difficulty. Now he's experiencing difficulty. Ooh, I love the pattern. Um, so... Joseph is in slavery. Joseph went to slavery. Now he's in prison. He went to slavery. Now prison. He went low, low, low. You know what I'm saying? This is the journey that, you know, God wants us to understand if we want to truly be used by him. You know what I'm saying? If we truly want to be about God and be about doing the things of God, this is the journey that God wants us to see that we will learn this difficult seven. Now, keep going. Uh, of course, y'all know about he was in prison. He met a baker and a cup bearer or a servant. And he told that the baker will die and the cup bearer will, um, uh, yeah, the cup bearer, okay, the cup bearer will, um, make a, a, a be appointed in a high place. And the thing is, the cup bearer, of course, it comes true. The cup bearer is in serving Pharaoh. Pharaoh has a dream. And Pharaoh has difficult, see, difficult interpreting a dream. And he has difficulty interpreting a dream. And the dream was about seven. See, it's about seven. About seven cows were fat. Seven cows was lean. And this, you know, see this pattern of seven, you know, and this difficulty. And, of course, we all know that Joseph came and interpreted the dream. And seven years, they, you know, got up wheat and gathered it up. And in seven years of famine, nations and people came and did this wheat to survive. Na and, 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 and Joseph saved nations. Now, Joseph saved and delivered nations. Now, watch this. I'm going to go with that deliver. He saved and delivered nations. Now, watch this. Rachel had a difficult time delivering a deliverer that delivered and saved nations. This pattern is powerful. I want you to see this pattern of powerful. But what I want you to understand about this pattern is that we God's needs are difficult. As the scripture says, the trial of our faith. That we will be tried by the fire and become pure as coal. That we become go through the difficulty to put, to get the prize. You know what I'm saying? That we need to understand. And what I like about that in Revelations 3, I believe, that is saying that uh, that God, Jesus is talking to John in Revelations 30, 3 that about this letter. But this letter was given to the seven church. The seven church. You know what I'm saying? The seven, when it's in the seven church, he speaks about this try where we be made try by fire, going through the tests and trials and tribulations, and become pure as gold to be with Christ, to be with Jesus Christ. I mean, and have a relationship with God, and that God will sup with us. That if we, He's knocking on our doors in our heart. We let them in and, and understand. And when we let it in, we're going to go through trial and testing. As Christians, we need to understand about the idea of the difficult seven. That we have to go through difficulty to get to seven. To get to seven means rest. Seven means perfection. Seven means completion. That we, if we want the seven, if we want the completion, we must go through trial and testing. It's this pattern that I hope this pattern help you see in your walk whatever difficulty, whatever trial and situations you're going on in your life. You know what I'm saying? You have to understand that you got to get to seven. You got to get to seven. You got to get to the place of rest. You got to get to the place of, you know what I'm saying, perfection. We are going after perfection. We're going after completion. We got to get here because Jesus... 
God created, God rested on the seventh day. We, the whole job ideal of the church, if you understand Hebrews 4, is to enter into the day of rest. As Jesus says, come unto me, all ye that heavy laden. I will give you rest that it, you see in Hebrews 4 that it mentions Jesus Christ concerning that idea that we're supposed to get to the in labor and to the rest. That the agenda, but guess what? You have to go through difficulty. You got to go to difficulty telling the truth. Yeah, because, you know, John 4, 24, they God is God. They that worship God, worship God in spirit and truth. Only in spirit and truth, truth will have you going through difficulty. Truth is what you, in a world that love lies, truth will become a difficulty thing to present to people to get to that Sabbath. So I encourage my Christians to be about the truth, to be about telling the truth and go through the trials and tribulations and um, fighting a good fight of faith no matter what people say, to get to this Sabbath. Because this Sabbath is worth it and the world needs Sabbath. The, the world needs rest. The world needs restoration. There's too much violence, too much ugliness, too much bad things. The world needs restoration. And it's time to labor to the Sabbath so the world can be restored to where it's supposed to be. And everybody is living in bliss and harmony that just as what God desires concerning what he wants his world to be like. Is that Christians need to understand about this difficult Sabbath. Alright, that's the message. I hope you got it. To God be the glory. Him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.